Hi, Lenny. What are you up to today? Ah, I see. You want to tell us more about type one diabetes. Do you have type one diabetes, Lenny? You do. So, what have you found out about type one diabetes that you'd like to share with us today? Ah, you've discovered that our bodies are made up of lots of different cells, and that these cells need the glucose from your food and drinks for energy, so that you can run, play, and concentrate at school. Can you tell us, Lenny, how the energy from the food gets into those cells? Oh, I see. When you have something to eat and drink, your stomach churns this all up and breaks it down into all sorts of important nutrients, including the glucose we need for energy. Lenny, do you know how the glucose gets to the cells in your body that need the energy? Okay, so we need insulin. Insulin is the key that will move glucose into the cells, and then our body uses the cells to give us energy. So your body produces insulin, which is the special key that opens the cell doors that say, "I need energy now." Where does the insulin come from, Lenny? A person without diabetes produces insulin from their pancreas when they eat certain types of food, and is that insulin then carried around in the blood with the glucose, so it can get into the right cells? And then once the cell is opened by the insulin key. The glucose can get in and give it the energy it needs. Lenny, what else have you found out about type one diabetes? Okay, so if you are a person living with type one diabetes, it means your pancreas has stopped making insulin. It's something that sometimes just happens, and there is nothing you or anybody could have done to prevent it. So, Lenny, if your pancreas no longer produces insulin, How do you get your energy from your food to your cells? Ah, you have to either inject the insulin or use an insulin pump. Lenny, what would happen if you didn't take enough insulin? How does this make you feel, Lenny, when your glucose levels are high, or sometimes called hyperglycemia? Hmm. You look tired and thirsty, Lenny, when your glucose levels are high. What would happen, Lenny, if you had too much insulin? Can you show us how going low, or sometimes called a hypo, makes you feel, Lenny? Hmm. You look shaky and sweaty and very hungry. What would you do to treat a hypo, Lenny? You would eat or drink something with the right amount of glucose in it, as told by your healthcare team. I can see there could be lots of glucose ups and downs with type one diabetes, Lenny. Could you show us how you know what your glucose level is throughout the day to make sure you have the right amount of energy to do the things you love? One way is to measure your glucose level with a tiny amount of blood taken from your finger with a blood glucose machine. That's a lot of information you shared with us today. Let's check if we understood everything. If your glucose levels go low, is this called a hypo or hyper? That's right. Low glucose levels are known as hypoglycemia, or shortened to the word hypo. Well done, everyone. Lenny, if you forget to take your insulin with your meals, will your glucose levels go up? Or down. That's right. Your glucose levels will go high if you forget to take your insulin. Well done, everyone, and thank you, Lenny, for telling us all about type one diabetes. See you next time.